to give you a quick overview of the Avaya 9641 touchscreen display. This phone has a touchscreen display where we do not have the buttons on the side, but everything is done by using your finger or a touchscreen pen or other buttons on the screen. Let's simulate a call coming in. The inbound call is highlighted in green. We can choose to make the call go to voicemail, to ignore it, or to drop the call. We'll call again. This time we'll answer it. Hi Bill, how you doing? Okay, now we'll put it on hold, which is our own personal hold. Now the call's on hold, we can go to a second call on our second call appearance and call 203, for example. That call picks up, and now we have two calls that we're, just, we're talking to. Notice that the vertical handset shows that we're talking to that call, and the flat one means that it's on hold. We can easily go back and forth between the two by simply pressing that particular appearance button. Now we're talking to Bill, and John is on hold. If we wish to drop, not talking to Bill anymore, all we have to do is press drop, or we can transfer to a different extension. And now we transferred to Kim. The purpose of this video is to basically show you how the screen works, and we'll be getting into a more detailed version of it a little bit later. Let's make a conference call. Let's first call Kim at 201 in the regular fashion. Kim picks up, and now we're going to add someone to the conference. So we press conference, and that'll put her on hold, and now we can dial our, sec our third party. Hi, John. How would you like to be in a conference call with Kim? Hey, that sounds good. I'm going to add you now. Now you notice all three phones are in conference. To see who is in conference, all we need to do is press the details, and that will tell us the three people that are currently in the conference. If we wish to drop anybody from the conference, all we have to do is highlight them, and then press the drop key. And then only Tyler and Kim are on the phone. We're on, this is the Tyler phone right now. And then I could hang up myself, and now there are no calls. The history button shows all calls that have recently been made. To call them back, all you need is to click on them and call. If you wish to be on Do Not Disturb, press the Do Not Disturb button. The light goes green, and now when somebody calls you, it's going to ring, but then go directly into voicemail. There is no one available to take your call at the Let's moment. Let's leave a message. So please leave a message after the tone. When finished recording, press pound. Hi there, Tyler. I'm sorry I missed you, but please give me a call back when you can. Thank you. Notice that the red message light has come on, and also the message light here has come on. It's pretty easy to see that you have a message. Let's press message. To listen to the message, press the listen button. Then we have one new message, and then we play it. Hi there, Tyler. I'm sorry I missed you, but please give me a call back when you can. Thank you. Press more, and then delete. It's a very easy phone to work. Everything is lit up real nice. Here we have a couple of indications that people are on their phone. Let's see what happens. When Bill calls John, I lifted up Bill. Notice the red line above Bill. Bill is going to call John. John is at 203. So now John is dashing to show that his phone is ringing. John picks up and they both go to red, which means they're both currently in a call. They're both hung up and they're gone. To page somebody, first pick up the phone and press page. Hello, we are now paging somebody. Thank you. Sometimes a call will come in and from an outside line, for example, We'll demonstrate that right now. And let's say we don't know where the person is. Let's answer it first. Oh, hi, you're looking for Bill? Oh, I don't know where he's at right now. I'm going to put you on hold, and uh, we'll see if we can find him for you. 
So the first thing we're going to do is we're actually going to put them on park. What park does is it puts them on a universal hold. Now you notice the park lights dashed. That person is on park. So now we can call, we can page John and say, "Hey John, let's do it." Hey John, you have a call. Hey John, you have a call on park one. John, you have a call on park one. Cool. So now John's going to walk up to any phone, and he's going to press the park button. For example, now. Hi there. How you doing? Yep, I've been wanting to talk to you. Thank you. You notice when John picked up the call, the park light went out. To forward a call, we press forward. Then we can press status to see currently what's happening. Well, forward unconditional is on, but what is happening to it? Okay, so when a call comes in, you, we could change it from when a group call, an all call, external only, external and group. But for now, it's just going to be non-group. It means when somebody calls this extension specifically. And where is it going to go? Press that. And we'll assign it to Linda's phone. Linda's phone is, Linda's phone is 205. So let's set it. And then 205. Linda Carter. Select and save. Now we're being forwarded to Linda Carter. We'll exit. You can see that our forward light is on. To see what's happening under the forward, our status button is now lit up. We can press status and it'll say that it is forwarded unconditional to Linda Carter. So if a call were to come in to 251, which I'll dial right now, it actually is ringing at a different phone. Okay. Cool. Turn off the forward and now it'll come in as usual. Excellent. There's other features on here that are kind of fun to play with. For example, we go to Home and then Settings, and then we can go to Options and Settings, and then Screen and Sound Options. And we have Brightness. Obviously, we can adjust the brightness, darker or whatever. Personalized Ringing. If we go to Personalized Ringing, this is what we're hearing now. There's some other pleasant sounds, too. Or... That's pretty impressive. Now if we went to classic, that's the more boring sounds that most people have on their current phones. Most people prefer the rich sounding sounds, such as drumbeat or xylophone. Save back. So now when somebody calls, let's see what happens. Now, we always need the phone button to go back to your regular home screen. It's like an escape key. There are no applications there. Let's dial 251. So now we have the xylophones. And no, you cannot load your own MP3 files at this point. Who knows what will happen in the future. We showed you a little bit about contacts. The contact screen shows everybody in the company. We can scroll down like this. Or we can start typing in the person's name. So let's say we wanted to locate Tim, or let's locate Rich. Let's say we're back up the top here and wanted to find Rich. We'd type, we'd press the letter R, I, C, and the more letters or numbers we put in, he's going to pop right up, and then we can call him and see what the details are, in other words, what the extension are. Or we can see what the extension is. And then we can go back to the main phone screen. So we can have everybody in there, we can have external numbers, and we can have some system numbers, uh, and also our own personal numbers. Let's enter a quick contact. Contact, new, and now we have a QWERTY screen. So let's add Yolanda, Y-O-L. This is so much easier than other phones. Yolanda, we can put in her phone number. If it's an external call, it would be 914145556787. for example. And then, done when we're done. Check. And now if we start keying in Yolanda, we can find it. Y-O-L. And there she is. Details. So that's about all we want to show you today. It was just a quick overview, show you how responsive the screen is. And yes, we can clear it, and things work quite well by using our fingers.